it's just um, it's not about agency driving again, but it's different. How agency driving has changed in the last well, like nine years, ten years. Um, well, about nine nine years, nine and a half, nine and a half. Excuse me, nine and a half years ago. You walk in there as long as you've got the C1 entitlement on your night, if you're on your driving license, which means you've got to be old fogey like me. If you've got a C1 on your license, you um, you can drive a seven and a half ton without a license, without having to pass a test. You've now got to do is drive a CPC, so is class two, so is class one. You're going to pay two grand for a, for a or thousand quid, whatever, for a, to pass your class one or any class two, whatever it is, or however much we pay. But unless you've got a driver's CPC card, which used to be a blue card, I don't know what colour it is this time, um, you can't drive the class one, even though you've paid to get, you've got the licence, because you need a driver's CPC, which is some 35 hours in a classroom or online, um, which will cost you about a couple hundred quid, 250 quid or whatever, it's about your own money. Just to keep it, just to actually use the license that you've already paid for. <laughs> but agencies, when I first joined an agency about nine and a half years ago, first thing is it's like get yourself a get yourself a digicard. Have, have you got a digicard? No. Um, get yourself a digicard, which you should buy off the DVLA for that. Yeah, just buy off the digicard and they get you one. If you've got um, if you're over, if you've got old enough to have actually got the C1 entitlement on your licence. It's an exact year, I, I can't remember which, which year it is, but it's like if you've got your, it's in the 90s, so if, if you've got your licence in the 2000s, you need to sit a test, I think, to do a seven half time, class three, three, whatever it is. So people just do the class two, which means they get on the straight of the class two, which jumps above the seven half is here and class two is above it. So by, do, by getting that, you know, Going for your class two license, HUV, you can drive a seven and a half ton, and then it's a class two. But a seven and a half ton can only drive on the C1 entitlement. You can only drive a seven and a half ton, but you can't drive a class two. But how it's changed is that basically, say nine and a half years ago, there wasn't driver CPC, it didn't exist. There wasn't DPS, that didn't exist. Um, all you had was Digicon. Go to apply, send off your, your digital card if you've got the entitlement allowance, the C1 on your license, which means you could drive a seven and a half ton, get a digital card, and then just put your straight in seven and a half ton. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That was driving seven and a half ton nine and a half years ago. So, in nine and a half years, well, the, the CPC, driver CPC, that came in about, um, excuse me, not from here, but, um, the CPC, came in well, about seven about seven years ago so the CPC came in about excuse me twenty fourteen ish around about twenty fourteen so every, every driver had to have a driver CPC around about have a, have paid for out their own money for thirty five hours in a classroom five days away, five days uh, in a classroom being taught how to drive a truck. That came in around then. So you had to have that finished and completed. I think it was before September. So it would have been about September 2014. Yeah. It's about that, yeah. 2013, 2014, something like that. So then you had to have the, the driver CPC. Now you have a DBS, DBS check. Now you've also got to Agency then would just be just turn up into an agency, a driving agency, and um, fill out all the forms, driving agency forms, and then um, show your passport, show your driving licences, whatever, yeah, ID and all that, yeah. and then you just give it to the person that's interviewing you, and they take a photocopy of it, and that's done. Yeah. Then they give you the, the, the originals back. Yeah. You leave, the, you leave the agency and then you just wait for a phone call and they just send you off to this company, that company, whatever company. But that's now changed now because of the pandemic as well. But, um, I've got a problem. 
Um, so now you can't join an agency unless you're on the app. Or I think now the restrictions have eased the pandemic restrictions. You may be able to do it, but not if you've already started an app. Because you've already registered, half registered with the app. And the, I don't know what it is. But um, it's changed now. You can't just, or you couldn't, couldn't just recently go into um, the, you now can't do what you used to be able to just go into an agency, fill out all the forms, ID, passport, and that, yeah. Now you've got to put all that, you've got to download their app and put all that data, your passport, your driving license, everything through an app. Which if your phone isn't that secure, antivirus or whatever, yeah, you're basically giving your data to everybody, aren't you? So the internet isn't secure. It's not. Um, but you've got to put your ID on, on it to get to work, which you didn't have to do before. Even though it went on their computer, it's the same, but it's just better on their, doing it their computer than it is yours. just meant that they were doing the work and you were just actually filling out the paperwork. Now you've got to do the work and they've got the paperwork out. That's how agency has changed um, in 2021. So they've brought three different things in, because you never had to have the app, and now a lot of places you go to, you have to sign in. You have to download a company's app, and that is how you sign in, or you get a phone given to you at the, at the transport office, and you log into that phone, and then you use that phone for your day, and all your deliveries are on it, and you sign in and log off and sign out of it, and that's your clocking in and clocking off time on, on the app. That's where passes are going. Well, well, where driving has gone now, and that was about a year and a half ago. And now trucks are going driverless too, so... The driving industry is pretty much finished, right? If driverless trucks come in, and they're coming in fast. Driverless trucks, driverless vans, have been about now for um, three years, 2018. There's driverless sprinter, there's driverless camper van, there's driverless bus, there's driverless truck. It's only a matter of time before Amazon start buying driverless trucks that are going out of fashion. And then, this is it, which puts tr driverless trucks into the market. And then people will be buying second-hand Amazon driverless trucks. No need for drivers. If a new truck now has a space for a driver, um, there's no need for... It's out of date. Basically, if a new truck has a, a cab for a driver, it's... There's no, it's out of date. There's no need for a driver. There's no need for a driver uh, sleeper cab. There's no, need, there's no need for taco hours. <laughs> what are you going to taco? Give it. Does the computer have got a taco card? <laughs> All that is going to be finished. This, 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 the, the computer driving the the, 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 Vox, the, the Volvo Vera. Does it have to have um, a CPC? All that's finished. It will be finished in driverless trucks. The computer doesn't need a taco card. It doesn't need a driver CPC. It doesn't need a bed to sleep on. It doesn't need um, a microwave in the, in the truck. It doesn't need a fridge. The computer doesn't need any of that. And the computer can keep on going around the clock. Then it all, virtually the whole driver's hours thing is, will be eventually finished. 